Hi, my name is Pete Hahn, and thank you for watching this tutorial video. Be sure to visit www.hahn-tech.com for the full library of video tutorials. I hope this video increases your knowledge and helps you become more efficient with this topic, whether for home or work. Please support this channel by sharing these videos with your friends and colleagues. Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can trade options contracts on the TradeStation platform using what they call the matrix. Now on TradeStation it's called a matrix. In many other platforms it's called a dome. Uh, dome is an acronym, D-O-M, uh, depth of market. And it's basically this screen that you see here in the middle. It shows your bid and ask and your bid and ask sizes and it allows you to interact directly with the uh, columns to place your trades. You can buy at limit, you can buy at market, you can place buy stop, sell stop, and you can configure your orders. And very quickly here, before we get started, this is a great time for the disclaimer, and that disclaimer is that I am not a professional trader. I do not make my living by trading. In fact, I do not even make money trading. Uh, what I do is I write code, and I teach people how to use their platforms and get the most out of them. So be sure that nothing in this video is an advertisement or a recommendation to buy or sell any financial instrument. I will be showing you a live trade on the TradeStation platform, but please be aware that this is not a recommendation on how to trade or how to make money in the markets. So I'm going to show you how you can configure your orders. I'm also going to show you how you get the option code into the matrix so that you can trade that option contract. In this case, I'm looking at a SPY 212 call, and you see how I copy that directly from Option Station Pro. And then you go ahead and click in the symbol slash command box in the upper left of the platform. And then you can right click and paste, or you can use a keyboard shortcut. You go ahead and press enter, and then it will load that option contract into the trading matrix. Now, I'm going to show you how you can adjust the quantity here. I'm changing it to two, and you can see the duration is set to day. I've got attach OSO order, and you can see the little drop down here. I've got it set to a two limit and one stop. Now, if you want to adjust that, you can click this little ellipsis here. You can see that I've got targets set for 10 and 50, and I've got the stop set for 20. So I've got two targets and one stop level. So let me show you how you can go ahead and uh, enter the trade. For instance, right now I'm looking at a chart and I'm saying, okay, this, uh, this line down here, this dashed gray line, well, that represents the uh, yesterday's close. So on ES contract, that is the gap close. And so that's one of my setups. And I'm gonna go ahead and set up an order trying to capture that gap close. So it's going to be very simple. It's just like trading futures on the matrix. What you do is you select the blue column to open a position and you have some prompts here to go ahead and confirm. But you always want to make sure if you're opening a position with an option, always use the blue column. Do not ever, ever use the red column because the red column will get you in short, naked, and your account privileges may not permit that, but also it gives you unlimited amount of risk. So you can see that it automatically places my OSO orders and I can simply click and drag those orders as I'm doing with the stop order and I can adjust those as needed. So I'm going to pull the first target down to about plus 10 and I've got to click yes for the confirmation. And then we're just going to let this thing go for a little bit and you'll see uh, I've got the benefit of hindsight. I know how this turns out. It's going to hit the target and execute. You can see my second target is up here at $100. I'm going to drag that down to 60. And the reason I'm doing that is because uh, you've got to adjust based upon what the conditions permit. And right now this is uh, going to be a, a kind of a tight trade. We're dealing with a contract that's only worth, um, you know, about 30 cents right now. So you can't, you know, go for 100 bucks um, when you've got this type of structure. It's just a very low probability. And so we'll just fast forward through that, not to bore you to tears with this stuff, but I fast forward here and uh, coming up here pretty soon, you'll see that the price will finally come up and hit that first target. 
So that first target there at uh, plus ten dollars, that's a limit order, and it will execute as soon as the bid, the current bid, reaches uh, and fills all of the pre-existing offers at that level, and then mine will fill once everyone who's ahead of me in line gets filled. So we'll see that happen in just a little bit here. You can see that the trading sits at that level for a little bit. There's been some executions at that level, and as soon as they get to my point in the line, then mine will execute as well. Okay, there it is. It happened probably faster than you could blink. So I've already got one contract locked in with a $10 profit. So now I can take my stop and I can move my stop to minus $5. And what that leaves me with is a free trade. Right now, if my stop gets hit, uh, I'm break even for the trade. And it gives me enough wiggle room, I hope, on an average day to go ahead and be able to capture a little bit more of a run. However, with the benefit of hindsight, I can tell you that this particular trade ends up getting stopped out. So we'll have to uh, move on to the next one. And I want to show you a little bit more in detail here how to set the order up, because I know I went really fast at the beginning. So uh, we're going to review everything again. You're going to see it all over again. So uh, don't, don't freak out if you missed any of it. We're going to show you uh, where we got the option symbol from, how we copy it, how we paste it, how we set up the orders, uh, and everything else. You'll see that all over again. Just stick around, and we'll show you here coming up. Okay, and I just fast forward that so that I don't bore you to tears with this stuff. But pretty soon here you're going to see the stop get hit. So that way you can see how that looks on the, on the matrix as well. It works. Now, one thing I want to mention here, I'm working with a contract that has got a very tight bid-ask spread. And so what I'm doing is I'm working with the current weekly expiration. And one thing I would really strongly advise is contact your professional trading mentor or some other professional that can guide you on making the right selection here. But what I do is I make sure and I select options that have a very high liquidity and a very tight bid-ask spread. So once again, let's review the order setup. Here is where you can change your price offset. I've got my targets set to 10 and 50 cents, and I've got my stops set at 20. So that creates a nice little bracket for me, and that way, and if you wanted to set that as a default, there's a little checkbox there. Press cancel, because I don't want to save any of those changes. And again, at Option Station Pro, here I've got a column here called Symbol, and you can format those columns and you can see how that uh, that column is set up there because by default the uh, the symbol is probably not displayed on your option station pro screen so here's how you would add that and once again I'll show you uh, it's a simple process of right clicking now if you want to buy a call to make a long you want to right click on the left side if you want to buy a put to take a short against the market, then you would right click on the right side. So right clicking on the left or the right side will determine whether you are copying the call or the put. So then we go up here to the symbol window and we paste that in there and you can see by the option code that it's a C212. You see those last four digits there in the code, C212, that's the 212 call. Now here I want to show you again, if you want the put, you'll copy from the right side now go ahead and watch this. Now we're going to right click and paste. Now you see that? That's got the last four digits of P212. So now that is the put at the 212 strike. So that's how you grab those option codes and you know how to set up the orders now. You know how to place the orders in the matrix. It's just like trading futures. I like to call it uh, training wheels for futures traders. So I probably have to copyright that right this very minute because maybe someday I do some classes on this or maybe I open up a room of my own someday. Got to be profitable first though. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it helps you make the best use of your platforms and your technology. Thanks. Have a great day. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. Be sure to visit www.hondashtech.com for the full library of tutorials. I hope this video increases your knowledge and helps you become more efficient with this topic whether for home or work. Please support this channel by sharing these videos with your friends and colleagues. Thanks and take care.